Hello, welcome to the channel, kit review time. Uh, in this one we are going to be looking at Edward Guns Bunny limited edition, which is obviously from the box art A B25. So for those of you who don't know, this is a Hasegawa kit, obviously the Edward's reboxed. Um, and they've done a few special editions of this, they've done another one as well. But this kit number is 2139, okay. And it's the B25J strafers of in the Pacific and um, China, Burma, and India. Okay, so I'll have a quick scoot around the box. Obviously, being the B25 in that theatre of war, we have some fantastic nose arts, some really famous ones as well on there, as you can see. So, you know, it's going to be sport for choice if you want your olive drab or your beer metal. So, Natural metal finishes, but as with all Edward boxings at the minute, really, really nice, cool box art on that as well. So, you know, good boxing all round. So, just get rid of that. So, typical sort of has a gal way of doing it is a one bag with all the runners in. I've got a tiny bit of resin. And all the usual goodies you get with a Edward kit in these special editions. So we'll have a look at them in a minute. So let's start off with the instruction booklet. Right, moving things out of the way. So instructions come in a nice, colourful pamphlet, as you can see. And you can uh, actually in the page so obviously Papa Gun and, it, and his strafers which I presume is the actual squadron that this is done for um, you've got obviously the history behind this so again nice little touch you can have a, have a nice little read there um, and all about him himself and then obviously this is what you are going to get in the in the actual kit itself so obviously all the all the sprues and the runners the X sets the mass sets and obviously some resin wheels as well. So there you go. All your colour call outs are down at the bottom. So everything you'll need to know in Aquarius, Mr. Colour Paints and Mission Models by the looks of it. Obviously you can cross -refer reference those to what you want. So typically we're going to start off with fuselage halves. Um, this is quite a detailed kit being the Hazagawa boxing of it. So you get quite a bit of the internals and the bomb bay. So Again, usually start off with a cockpit. Well, actually, that's later on. Um, all the colour call lights you're going to need. Just bear in mind, I think, if I remember rightly, the bronze green interior, I think, on this, and not interior green. And then I think the rest of it could be interior green or natural metal, depending. Do your research. But obviously, you've got your call outs as well on here, so follow them. Um, then, obviously, onto your instrument panel itself, which you've got your, your photo etch for. So some PE for that, which we'll have a look at in a bit. And again, the PE for this, so you just obviously remove the actual kit molders on parts and, and replace them with PE if you so desire it's there. Um, again, for the controls, same thing there. Then you're going into the front landing gear leg. All right, then you've got the resin wheel for that. Obviously your seating, which uh, you've got some PE seat belts as well. So you're going to have a really nice and detailed actually cockpit and interior not that you're going to see a lot of it when it's buttoned up but it's there usual thing how they do a uh, b25 as well is you're going to have to put the front wheel in possibly for i've never built this kit so i don't know if you can get it in after and then it all attaches to this bulkhead here so nose weight is obviously going to be a must which hopefully when we switch over and we uh, get to the part where you're putting the nose on it's going to tell you how much weight you need but advice Put some more weight in than it actually tells you. So, uh, spars going in with the Bombay. Obviously, you've got all your weapons here. So, your guns going in with the photo wedge parts. Bit of detail as well in the side wall of the cockpit, which is nice. Um, and, yeah, you're going to have quite a detailed, actually, uh, uh, part here. So, is that part of the turret, is that? Or is that rear gunner? Could be the rear gun. There's the parts for the rear gun, anyway. Um 
and then that's buttoning it all up. But obviously, it's going to have the cheek guns on as well, which is, you know, obviously the thing of a strafer. So it's going to be well armed, put it that way. Next, then, we're going to move on to the main undercarriage under the wing. So, again, looks like a nice locating point for that. Wings together, obviously, the nacelles on. Engines with the harness for the ignition harness to go on. Exhaust ports. Um, it's a pretty standard fear, really. You've obviously then got the uh, your nose parts with all the, the guns sticking out there. Obviously, you can replace that if you need to. Or just use the kit part, but just a little bit of problem. They're probably molded solid, so you'll need to drill them out. And obviously moving on to the upper turret, which is obviously nearly just about fully represented there as well. So again, Master do a beautiful set of barrels for these. So if you want to, you know, get the uh, the metal barrels and Master do some lovely ones. Uh, tail then going on next. This then just clips in and, and covers obviously the rear turret. This part here might be a must if you don't put enough nose weight in. As most, you know, you got the hatch there and you just wait to step underneath and then that will stop it being a tail sitter. But I can't actually see if it indicates how much weight it needs. It doesn't there. I don't know if I've missed that. Let me just have a look back just in case. No, there's nothing there as well. So you might have to just do a bit of figuring that out yourself, as in how much weight you're going to need to stop it being a tail sitter. So all the antennas and sticky outy bits and bits that fall off and break off when you're handling it are on next. And there's a call out for obviously masks as well. So good to have a mask set. I can't champion mask sets enough. So there we go. And then obviously the different... Um, decal options that you're going to get so you know you've got a few in there you can choose from all beautifully done um i just yeah you know b25 is one of my favorite aircraft so this is just amazing you get a mass set for doing obviously the front as well for, for the mouth and the teeth by the looks of that so that's pretty good or at least these two anyway um but it's nice to get a call out nice olive drab one there and a nice olive drab and neutral grey one there and then that's a very famous aircraft so in natural metal it goes on and so is that one as well with the uh, the bat on the on the nose so they've really picked some good good options here and you've got a lot of them it's a shame you only get one kit <laughs> Could do with a few just to, just to make up some you know different ones but yeah loads of options loads and loads and then they obviously got your stencil call out there again pretty pretty straightforward stuff and there you have it and then on the back again just the rest of the stencils going on obviously for the uh, the maker of the propeller as well so Really, really nice. Okay, now have a look at the actual styrene. Start with the main fuselage. Being has a gower moulding all recessed and really fine. Excuse me, detail on the actual recessed panel lines. I've no riveting, so you would have to rivet it yourself. But you know, you've got some internal structure detail in there as well. So all cleanly moulded, typical obviously has a gower. This is, you know it's been done a few times by them in different variants so and actually i think a few uh, revels reboxed it at some point um just a really nice kit can't expect any issues with it going together unless it's kind of self-inflicted i think 
But yeah, so there's a fuselage halves. Wings next. Again, nice detail on the wings. All your hatches and stuff. Obviously, flaps all moulded in. Um, strengtheners and stuff just looks like a B25 to me. There is actually a little bit of riveting, obviously, on this part here. So, but the rest of the wing is obviously plain, so you could need to rivet that yourself, as I've said. Right, going on to the cockpit and the tail, and some of the wheels, and bulkheads, uh, and landing legs. Again, not, not a lot much to say, just really, really nicely moulded. Seats are here. In the instrument panel, floor in. nice paint job in there, and yeah, you're good to go. So beautiful, beautiful Hazegawa. Hazegawa at their best, and this is where it gets a bit different for Hazegawa because you're, you get the um, different sort of layouts for the different configurations of the B25s that they've done. So, this is the solid nose one, there's your structures for your bomb bay and your wing spars. We'll just add them on so they make the numbers up. Two identical sprues here, so I'll just show one of those. So main undercarriage wheels, propellers, nacelles, an engine, and your little exhausts, vents. Again, all beautifully cleanly moulded. Not much really you'd have to do to upgrade it, I don't think. I think you could build this really quite nicely out of the box. So, clear parts. Let's have a look at the clear parts. Nice to come in a separate bag. Just some poly caps. I'll come in the bag with here. So clear parts. Can't see a lot wrong with them. Uber clear. Uber clear those. Really nicely done. You can see that catching in the light. So, can't see any issues with those. So the aftermarket goodies. Let's have a look what we've got. So we've got the mass sets. So I'm not going to get them out, but. Edward mass sets are pretty legendary, so you know they're going to fit. We've got some nice resin wheels. So if we can get out of the bag. There we go. That's a nice upgrade from the kit part. Beautifully cast, as all the resin stuff is from Edward. detail on that really nicely done and there's your front wheel again perfect got to cut it off its block clean it up add a flat spot if needs be and you're away uh, last but not least is the edge set so you've got a cockpit zoom set, so all your instrument panels, harnesses, um, and radios and bits and bobs there. So they're all nicely done and already in colour, so you can see you've got a bit of a colour call out for the interior colour. You can go off that, and then there's your the rest of it. So obviously, like I say, engine harness and uh, some other you know internal detail and stuff on the wall. I think, but yeah, all there. So, last but not least, let's have a look at the decals. Now, I take it, these are going to be the new style decals. Now, I've not used these, so I can't comment whether they're good, bad, or indifferent. You know, I would, people don't love them to bits, and other people just can't get on with them whatsoever. So, we'll start off with the main one. Let's see if I can get the cover off. There we go. So I'm going to put that back on. Now, print-wise, they're all nice. 
nicely done. They are printed in the Czech Republic, so they are their own. They're not cartographed or anybody else's. Just looking at the colouring on the, the actual star. It's a bit faded. I don't know if that naturally should be faded or they've done that on purpose because they look full of, full of colour here. So, don't know. I don't know if when you peel the actual, if it's the the new style decals that the uh, it'll brighten up a bit. Everything else is nicely printed though for the different obviously aircraft and uh, nose arts for it. So yeah, if you've built this kit and you know about these decals, please leave a comment and you know tell everybody about it. But from the just off the bat, they look they look absolutely fine to me. So. Yeah, can't see um, can't see a problem with any printing. Everything's in register, so yeah, really nice. And then last but not least, we have the stencil decals. Oh, they look fun. So you do if you choose can not use the photo set and you've got all your instrument dials and stuff to uh, to put on there. And then and then I'll like say all the. Um, all the stencils to go on so your call whether you want to add all them or not yeah <laughs> so there we have it edward a guns bunny highly recommended really nice kit obviously it has a gower molding really good molding really 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 nice kit probably best in scale so if this is your thing go out and grab one because i think once they've sold out they, they'll be gone as he, they won't be doing it again, which is the um, the Edward way with these things. So, yeah, highly recommended. As always, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next one.